lovely song for you. Uh. <laughs> tarot enthusiasts. Tarot Looking enthusiasts. Yeah. Oh damn. <laughs> tarot enthusiasts. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello! We are Nasty Chapel. My name is Natalie Grace. And I am Steve. Nasty. <laughs> and we today are taking you into the song. song. A deep dive exploration of a song of our choosing. We will tell you the story, the history, and a lovely little message. A beautiful, beautiful, mm. lovely, shiny message. <laughs> What's today's song? Today's song is our original song, Down by the River, which hopefully you know. If you don't know, get to know. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Story. In this song, we meet a hunter who is in the woods. They carry their bow and their arrow, and they look around at the nature at the animals, the salmon in the stream, in the kestrel, in the sky. And even though they feel that they have done everything that they were meant to do in life, they get this feeling of feeling really small and not connected to the world around them. Hmm. And then they start thinking about the bow that they're holding and the arrow and how these two things, by themselves, they're a bit useless. To, for them to be effective, they only work when they're being used together. At the end of the song, after much reflection and looking inside at what is really important in life, the hunter reaches the end of their life cycle and has the epiphany of realising that they are not just one single being navigating the world all by themselves. They are one part of a web that spreads across the whole of our existence. History, History time! <laughs> so this one is obviously an original song. So really, uh, the history for this one is just how it all came about. Now, one part is we moved to the countryside during uh, the COVID times. And just, you know, it's a lovely, lovely time in the countryside. And there's lots of animals and things around us. And I think that's really what inspired you to write the song in the first place. Part of it, at least. Literal kestrels flying around and things. Mm -hmm. Then to get the song recorded once it was written, we started busking in a local town near to us, Nantwich. And the very first time we ever busked there, we met producer Nigel Stonia, who saw us and he was like, whoa, you guys are awesome. Can you, uh, can you, do you do any original songs? So <laughs> he just stood there, we were super nervous. We just played, <laughs> played an original song to him. Super nervous because he was like, oh yeah, I'm a produce producer and I've worked with Fairport Convention <laughs> and Joan Byers. Like, yeah. Oh damn. <laughs> Yeah, Nigel was in contact with us over um, over a year and he sort of was trying to get us funding to record an album and things. Eventually, he called us up a month before the festival that he runs, Words and Music, uh, Words and Music Festival in Nantwich. And he said, hey guys, why don't you open for this epic band, Merry Hell, and you announce that you're doing a Kickstarter campaign um, f for the album, basically, at this gig. Uh, this is a month before this gig happened, so we were like, okay. <laughs> we jumped in, we put it all together as best we could. Uh, we kicked it off. Somehow we raised £5,000 over that time and we were able to do an album. We are so grateful for everybody who donated to that Kickstarter. We wouldn't have been able to record an album of this level without the support of all of those wonderful people. If you buy our debut album, Lost and Found, which you can do on Bandcamp, you will see on the inside cover there are the names of every person who donated 
to our Kickstarter. Um, we're so grateful for all of you. Actually, do you know, it's everybody apart from one person, Maria, Maria Potter. I'm so sorry. You know, we've already spoken about this. You know we love you and we're grateful. Um, so yes, it's on now. So when we were recording this album in Manchester at Airtight Studios, Every day when we would drive to the studio, we drove past a building that had some art uh, spray painted onto the side of the wall. And the, they were the words of a poem by Lancashire poet Lem Sisse. And the words that we drove past every day were, said the sun to the moon, said the head to the heart, we share more in common and sets us apart and that every single time we drove past that it just lit up a flame inside me and it really speaks to the message of down by the river um, the fact that we're so quick to look at the differences that uh, divide us um, while we as if that's like the tip of the iceberg while we ignore all of the huge similarities that we share together. Um, and since that was, I didn't know Lem Sisse before seeing his words um, coming to us on the wall of the building while we were recording our album. Since then, oh, have I deep dive. <laughs> <laughs> um, I very, very much recommend looking into this wonderful poet's work. Um, the short poem that I, that I just shared um, is from Let the Light Pour In, which is a really, really beautiful collection of short poems that are filled with hope and inspiration and respect and awareness of the darkness as well. Um, and that, if you then also read his life story, which you can read in My Name Is Why by Lem Sisse, you will really get a greater understanding of where he is coming from, how he is able to share the beautiful messages that he pours into his work in this. Um, and I'd also recommend his uh, other collection, Gold From The Stone. Um, really stunning, looks at um, identity and culture and why that can be important to us and this thing of our differences are not bad our differences are what make us beautiful and unique and sharing those differences and listening to them and understanding them is actually what makes us stronger when we can work together for we all stand together or we don't stand at all. <laughs> now, this is basically it. If you want a problem, we gotta divide things up, right? We gotta see an opposite in someone else or in a situation. We gotta see that this situation isn't, it's against us somehow, that's a problem. But if you want a solution, we need everyone to work together to get there. We need everything to work together. now. So another book recommendation that I have in relation to this song is Braiding Sweetgrass, Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge and the Teaching of Plants by Robin Wall Kimmerer. Um, now, Robin Wall Kimmerer is Professor of Environmental and Forest Biology and Director of the Centre for Native Peoples and the Environment. And in this book, she shares this passage where she says, what happens to one happens to all. We can starve together or we can feast together. All flourishing is mutual. And that very much inspired the writing of this song. And I recommend anybody to read this fantastic book or any other works by her as well. Now, here's a fun little thing for you. If you know anything about tarot, in this song, 
there are four tarot cards that are named. Four that are named in, in word, one that is referred to in gesture. So see if you can name all four slash five cards and comment below what you think they are. This is us performing our song Down, Down by, by the, the River. river. sure my soul was born I hold my bow in my left hand and my arrow I keep drawn high up above me I hear the kestrel call and something deep within my heart makes me feel so small for if I could spread my wings and tug the endless deep blue skies I'd have no need to prove my and I have no need for lies I am like the salmon just swimming in the stream I navigated every turn the river threw at me I did as I was told to and I reached the safe still pool but there's no one here around me I know I've become the fool for we all stand or we don't stand at all Watch your tower crumble as you fall And the nights may grow colder And the day feels so long But the light inside will help to keep you warm I feel the ground beneath me The moon shines through the night in my left hand and my arrow in my right and if I bow up to my eye and I call on the ancient song my right hand brings the arrow with its pointed tip so strong for the arrow only stars if The arrow will be knocked off course and cause it suffering. If the two are balanced, they can light the endless road. Keep the wheel turning and bear the heavy load. For we all stand together, or we don't stand at all. Watch your tower crumble as you. Nights may go colder and the day feels so long, but the light inside will help to keep you warm. Oh, na, 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 completed their quest I feel the space between me and I neither float nor sink although I cannot be seen I am therefore I think and suddenly I doesn't feel like I is anymore we dangle from our well to touch our tiptoes on the floor if the connection's grounded we'll send lightning Peace and inner vision to let go of all the lies For we all stand together or we don't stand at all Watch your tower crumble as you fall And the nights may grow colder and the day feels so long But the 
the light inside will help to keep you warm. For we all stand together, or we don't stand at all. What shots our crumble as you fall? Oh, and the noise may grow colder. Thank you so much. Make sure that you follow us on all Tinternet places. Uh, we'll put links somewhere for uh, that. Yeah, they, down here. This is how they do it on the tube. Um, also, Natalie mentioned that album earlier. Uh, if you go on Bandcamp, which we'll put down here, hopefully you will remember, <laughs> um, you can get the physical copy of the album, which has a labyrinth on it, which you can trace with your finger. And the whole journey of the album is a cyclical journey and it's all about this you know life and all the ups and downs and uh yeah you can support us by purchasing a physical copy or a digital copy or some merch there's embroidered rock a canvas and t-shirts so that'd be you know if you really enjoy this and you want to support us please do so like that or just send us some love we'll be sending you love feel the love <laughs>